All right, so if you guys watched my flex paste video, you saw that whenever I tried to uh, see if flex paste would fix an active leak, that it went horribly wrong. Here's a little flashback of that in case you didn't see it. And I'm gonna see if I can just take this big glob of flex paste and just smear it over top of it. Oh. I don't think this is, this is gonna work like the commercials. So you can see that was just completely wrong. <laughs> I think I used an inch and a quarter hole or maybe it was a one inch hole, whatever it was, it was way too big to seal, especially with having the bucket full and you saw what happened. It just did not work whatsoever. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take this saw and I'm gonna try to get it, I'm gonna cut a slit into this bucket and try to get it more on par with what Phil Swift did in the commercial with the chainsaw and just have a small slit, but kind of have a small, but kind of long slit and then see if flex paste can stop an active leak with a little slit. Hearing protection. I'm just gonna use my saw with, that has the safety bypass, which is how we run all of our saws around here. I think that'll work. That's probably like four inches or so. We'll try that first and see how it works. All right, so I have my glob of flex paste here and you can see we have an active leak that is pretty much identical to what they had in the commercial. So let's just go ahead, hope this doesn't get too messy. That worked beautifully. That's not leaking at all. Huh. Oh. It's not working now. I don't think it's gonna... Come on. As the, once the bucket starts getting fuller and it starts getting more pressure on it, it just can't hold it. Really? Oh, maybe, nope, it's gonna leak. No, nah, man, every, <laughs> every time. Well, come on, let's, what if we just hold it? What if I just hold it here for a second? I wonder if that'll maybe help for a second. Maybe. This might actually work. The bucket's almost full. It's probably up to like right here. Nope, starting to leak right there. Okay, the bucket is completely full. Complete oh, there it is, now it's leaking again. Come on. I want this to stop the leak so bad. Well, I feel, I feel like that's pretty conclusive. <sighs> so, can flex paste stop an active leak? Apparently not, which is kind of kind of sad because in the commercial, in the, in, or not in the commercial, but in my first video, I figured that the my entire problem was that the hole, that's the size of the leak that I was trying to fix, was just too big and it was just too much pressure to for the flex paste to hold it. So. That's why I decided to make this video with and make just the slit, just like they did in the commercial. But the saw that I used is much smaller than a chainsaw would be. So even with me using a smaller saw and having a smaller slit, it still couldn't stop the leak, which makes me wonder how they did the commercial because in the commercial, 
obviously they used the chainsaw and they just put the flex paste on it and it was no problem. As you saw when my, with my experiment, with a smaller cut, you put the flex paste on there and it only lasts like 10, 20 seconds before it starts leaking. Anything like, I mean, you might be able to stop like a pinhole leak or something with flex paste, but anything that's gonna have any type of pressure behind it or anything, it's just not gonna work. Doesn't necessarily mean it's not a good product. It is kind of deceiving that they put in the ad that it could stop that type of leak and then you can't reproduce that same result. So kind of disheartening, but that answers the question. Can it stop an active leak? No. So thank you guys so much for watching. If there's anything else that you want to see me test, leave a comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.